Hello everybody. We're checking out another classic. Looks amazing so far. I had this on Sega Mega Drive and Commodore Amiga. I think even MS DOS. Something like that. <laughs> Cracked, no doubt. I'm just going to enjoy the intro, get myself warmed up, get my brain limbered, ready. I'm going to do the fun puzzles to start with. As always, I'm looking for a game to do a long play of. This would take a very long time to complete this game, but maybe I can complete fun. <coughs> Excuse me. I could complete fun first. That would be one playthrough. But even that would take a long time, especially with Commodore if there's loading time. This may just go on for about half an hour, then I'm gonna play Freelancer. I think there is going to be a lot of loading in this game. There's five discs in total if you were to play the entire game. Well, four actually. Four discs. One disc just loads the main menu. Okay, here we go, we've got our fun level, and that's going to be good for me. So it's disc 2, side A. Real avid fans of the channel might remember I tried this live. I couldn't get the game to start. But um, it must have been late at night. I, you know, I woke up, tried it today. It works very easily. On retroachievements.org, I actually. You have to complete each one, each level, saving 100%. There's some that you can't, but then you, it knows how many, and then it says you have to save like 98% or whatever. It's really fun. It adds a new aspect of challenge to this game. <laughs> Even on the easy missions. I'm trying to figure out if it's best for me to use the joypad or, the, uh, or a very small screen here. I can't get down to the I can't get down to the um actions. I'll have to read the manual and if
God, I wasn't ready. I thought it was going to take time to load. Let's watch some lemmings committing suicide. I love this game at first impressions. It's got everything that the um, 16 bit that the other versions have, just a sm smaller screen, you know. It's not that bad. The graphics weren't that good on the 16 bit versions anyway. It's not about the graphics. The speeds there, the controls are responsive. I, would, I need to figure out how to pause it. Other than that, I mean, I'm not. I'm not in the mood to sit here and complete fun right now. I've done it before in the past, and I will do it again. So I'll probably end up writing down the password and coming back to it. Got a lot more games to try. Also checking out the Zeus compiler, Zeus assembler, ZX Spectrum, upgrade to my existing tool set. And hopefully I'll have some uh, guides that I can follow for double buffering because that's turned into a bit of a struggle. <laughs> so you can't get 100% on this one. But there is a way, I've found a, a very good glitch of how to save your guides. You know these blockers here, there is a way around them in the later levels to get them back go on then why not be fancy frame rates not loving all these lemons but It's not bad. Of course you can speed it up in the game. Oh, there's nothing. 
apostrophe zero and um, minus plus do nothing. It's very strange. Coming up after this, I'm continuing my space sim playthrough, going through the story driven game, um, freelancer. It's a brilliant game. I, I'm struggling here because I can't nuke. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 does nothing. I'll have to look up the manual, won't I? Uh, there's people that post information online are so good for doing that I really I'm glad they've posted all this info but you'd think the controls would be one of the first things you'd post okay plus and minus are supposed to do it but they don't hmm Shift and plus on on vice, but what weirdly minus doesn't need shift. Okay, this is coming back to me now. Insert, delete, bomb them. Doesn't work. Yes, it does shift. There we go. Got there in the end. Definitely time for a few more levels before I end the first look at this game. <laughs> Miners and climbers. I think the floor is indestructible. No, I don't know actually. I've only got one miner. It's gonna be easy, but yeah, I was gonna say we're not gonna have a trap there. So I'll get it. Better music than on the Mega Drive, I think. I don't remember the Amiga music. Probably not as good as this. <laughs> I hope this isn't copyright, I'm going to use it for my intro. <laughs> Oh, I need to do a climber, don't I? Oh. I hope there's no more because they're getting left behind.
<clears throat> I know that the, the, the uh, there's been a release of the C64, and that eliminates having to remember like all this key binding for emulators. But I just wonder whether someone could create like a USB keyboard, and that's it, just a keyboard <laughs> for fiber, you know. <laughs> Someone in China, obviously. We need bashers this time. Where are we trying to get to? All the way through there. Bash your way through there, then little lemon. Don't stop. Oh, I remember this one. Whoa. No, this is not going to go well. I've got 25 of these buggies. Come on, bash your way through. Oh, so close. Yay! Not sure how this game was received on the Commodore 64. Pretty sure it was already a sort of outdated system at that time. I'm not sure what year this came out even. <coughs> but it feels like about 93 in my memory. Maybe even later than that. I'm gonna have to look it up after this finishes. Okay, good. Ninety one first released for the Amiga. <laughs> yeah, it came out in North America for the Commodore sixty four in nineteen ninety three, so I was right, but actually it came out in the EU ninety two. Impressive. What other systems is it on? Game Gear. Game Boy. Guess NES is about. Oh, ZX Spectrum. There you go. It actually came out two years earlier on the ZX Spectrum. Have to try that out. Haven't tried that. Amazing. A job for blockers and bombers. I'll make this the last level. Oh yeah, you block it. I'm gonna try just bombing right there. See what happens. Uh oh. Oof. Why do you even need the block blocker? Oh, of course. Hmm. 
Alright. Great puzzle game. Always wanted to try and make this. This was one of them games that got me into development of I thought I could do it, you know. <laughs> got halfway through doing it, you know, not even that. Got halfway through making a lemming. With all the actions. That destructible world blew me away. Get in your hole, little lemmings. I mean, the sprites are small, but there's a heck of a lot of sprites on the screen at some points, isn't there? Right, what I've done, I've taken a screenshot of that. I don't, don't even need to do I'm just recording it on video. But that was a quick 20 minutes of Lemmings on the C64. It seems to me exactly the same as the uh, other console versions I've played in the Amiga. It's not quite as good graphics. Smaller screen. But otherwise, a perfect port, I'd say. Go and play it. Alright, I'll see you next time. Click that like button. If you haven't already done so, click subscribe, help me out. Of course, come and follow me on Twitch. I need to get to that big 50. Alright, I'll see you for the next video. Goodbye.